Now, well, the political arena is witnessing a thriller in the national capital. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has announced his uh, intention to tender his resignation in the next 48 hours. This shocking statement has come merely two days after the Supreme Court granted him bail. Uh, and uh, this is something which has obviously attracted a lot of reactions from the opposition as well. While addressing the party workers at the AAP headquarters, Mr. Kejriwal has called for early polls in November as well, stating that he will only return to the chief minister's chair if the people of Delhi give him the mandate. This has drawn sharp criticism from the Bharatiya Janata Party, which maintains that this move is a gimmick and drama. Whatever happens next will be interesting to watch. However, the fresh twist in the AAP versus BJP saga has certainly added to the confusion that is already being faced by the people of Delhi. Delhi is being plagued by infrastructure issues, water issues, and with the winters just around the corner, pollution is also going to become a big menace as it always does somewhere in October, November. So who will solve the problems of the residents of Delhi is the big question and what shall uh, come out of the elections and if the elections are announced in November, if that's even a possibility, it cannot be a bucket list or a wish list uh, and the election commission or the government for that matter would make come true. Let's talk about this uh, with uh, some people who understand and are uh, of course, prominent in this space, Shahzad Poonawala, national spokesperson for the Bharati Janata Party, joins us on the program as well. Mr. Jasmine Shah, national spokesperson, the Aam Aadmi Party, is also here with us. Shahzad Poonawala, I'll begin with you. Arvind Kejriwal says that this is not a political decision, it is a moral one. He wants to re-establish that the people of Delhi definitely want him for his honesty, for his integrity, which the Bharati Janata Party has tried to attack has tried to, in fact, tarnish, but he is going to prove them wrong. Uh, first of all, you know, it's become a habit for some people to make a virtue out of a necessity. Uh, Vinik, you would remember that the, high, the Supreme Court hasn't really released the chief minister. It's only released somebody called a ceremonial minister because all the powers of the chief minister have been curtailed. He can't go to the Sachiwale, he can't go to the office, he can't sign big files, and therefore he could not function as a chief minister. The chief minister is back in jail, the ceremonial minister is out, and therefore how do you make a virtue out of a necessity that can achieve three or four things? One, you try and have a Lalu Ravidi model in Delhi. Uh, you understand when I say Lalu Rabri model, yeah. you don't why he requires it two days. He wants to perhaps build consensus for Sunita Ji. She was all, anyways, in the star campaigner list. Or maybe he wants to have a Sonia Manmohan model wherein you place somebody like a Manmohan Singh in the front and then you run power from behind. You divert the people's attention to something else because, anyways, 10 years later, they are asking questions, difficult questions about your non performance, which you are not confident about. By the way, this entire thing, netikta, netikta, morality, people will vote for us, was done three months ago. They lost 7 0 even after alliance with the Congress party. And having said that, when they talk about netikta, forget everything else, Vinit. You know, there can be accusations, counter accusations. Lalu Prasad is convicted five times. Now, Mr. Kejriwal is in alliance with Lalu Prasad Yadav. In alliance. Forget anybody else. Forget Ajit Pawar, the Remanta Biswasarma, they are not convicted. This man is convicted. Now, I know Jasmine will retort what the Ahmadi party usually uses, Bangaru Lakshman. Bangaru Lakshman, on an allegation made on him, resigned from the party, resigned from the presidency. Here you have Arvind Kejriwal standing hand in hand with Lalu Prasad, convicted for corruption, and they have the audacity to talk about Netikta. Where was the Netikta 150 days ago when they went to jail? They used to demand resignation on the drop of a hat. Lalu should resign, Mulayam should resign, Sonia should resign, Achilles resign, only on accusations. And mm -hmm. for himself, when the conditions are so tough on bail, that no relief has been given as such, you have not been declared as any kind of a Aparad Mukt or a Dosh Mukt person, uh, and these are celebrations of the people of Delhi because it's celebrating that this man is finally going. You then say that, oh, I am taking a netic step. If you are netic, Jasmine Shah, just one question. Hmm. Is Lalu Prasad Yadav corrupt? Yes or no? Hmm. Jasmine, you want to respond to that? And of course, I'm going to put in a caveat there as well. You know, the Aam Aadmi Party does talk about morality, but the fact of the matter is that, you know, you've, you've decided to have an alliance with the Congress Party whenever it's necessary, despite uh, rebuking them, admonishing them, uh, criticizing them. And, you know, 
having Congress as the main reason why the Aam Aadmi Party was born, and that was a drive against corruption. And here you are, you know, toe to toe with the Congress Party when it comes to elections. How do you justify that? See, today's the question is not Congress Party or Lalu Prasad's party or X Y Z. Right, we talk about morality. We talk about nethikta. Today is a historic day in Indian politics. For I'll come to it. I'll come to it. And let me explain to your viewers the significance of today's decision first. Today, a historic benchmark has been set in Indian politics, where a politician, a sitting chief minister, is saying that I will seek the mandate from the people of uh, my uh, state, which is Delhi, whether I am honest or not. We have seen leaders across India who ask votes in the name of religion, who ask votes in the name of uh, caste. But we have never seen a chief minister or a prime minister saying that vote for me only if you think I am honest, and do not vote for me if you think I am dishonest. And who is Arvind Kejriwal? These people are saying that Arvind Kejriwal is dishonest. He has done some corruption. Arvind Kejriwal was a former income tax commissioner. If he had wanted to mint money, he could have minted crores while staying in service. But he rejected that service. He worked in the slums of Delhi for 10 years. He won Raman Magasese Award. Has any BJP leader won a Raman Magasese Award? And after that, he started the biggest anti-corruption movement, formed Aam Aadmi Party. Hmm. In the past 10 years, the kind of works that Aam Aadmi Party has done for Delhi, no BJP government anywhere in the country has done. Is there one state where they have fixed government schools, where there are world-class hospitals and mohalla clinics, where electricity is free, water is free, bus rides for women are free, yet the state government is in running in a surplus budget? That is the proof of an honesty. BJP over the last 10 years has only tried to derail the work of the elected government in Delhi. Shame on them that they do not believe in democracy and constitution. That once the elections are over, you should let the opposition government work. What mm. did they do? They tried to stop him. They tried to buy his MLAs. When all of those tactics failed, came the so-called fake Delhi liquor scam. Now, what is the uh, uh, story here? The past two years, Shahzad Punawala and all his friends have been yelling from their uh, rooftops saying that, you know, there is a big scam, there is a big scam. What happened? In two years, this is the only case in the history of uh, ED and CBI, where in mm. two years you are still investigating a case, but not a single rupee has been recovered. Now, Supreme Court has given bail in all these matters. In fact, it has said that CBI and ED have become a caged parrot. So, my friend Shahzad, you have more to answer. So, hmm. Mr. Kejriwal has gotten all the relief okay. he could get from the courts. Okay. Shahzad Punawala cannot say now, ki, oh, but you not have to be a arop mukt. You will be a arop mukt when you are Why don't you answer? Why have you not started the trial in this case? Okay. You cannot start. You have not started the trial in this case. Let, 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 let Shahzad come back. Let Shahzad respond to that. Let Shahzad respond to that. Shahzad. Or that Jasmine will hear me as patiently as I heard him, won't interrupt me. First of all, let me give you an example of the lies they speak. He just said that Arvind Kejriwal resigned and left his job as an IT commissioner. Let me show you what the IRS Association has said. The IRS Association says, and I quote them, that Mr. Arvind Kejriwal is not, did not retire as an IRS commissioner, an income tax commissioner. He was on a smaller post, and that is the official statement of the IRS Association. Firstly. Secondly, let me also tell you that forget telling us about anything. Just ask him about the question that what Mr. Sandeep Dixit has said today. He has called it a natak. Sandeep Dixit has said that the conditions that have been put on a chief minister have never been put on any other chief minister simply because this man has criminal tendencies and in fact he cannot be allowed to go to office because he will manipulate and threaten the witnesses. Just take a glimpse of it. Yeah, we, we heard that. We heard that bite. Yeah. A glimpse of that. Thirdly, Mr. Uh, Jasmine Shah should know that they just sought a mandate on the very same line from the people of Delhi after allying with the Congress party, saying that jail ka badla Modi ko vote se dena. Janta ne jail ka badla aapko diya 7-0 hara kar. They said the exact same thing that they're saying today. And sir, you are the first CM, that I agree with. You're the first CM who shamelessly stayed and continued as CM for 156 days. No other CM, including Lalu Prasad, including Hemant Soren, including J Shibbu Soren, including Jai Lalita, stayed in power for 150 days inside of jail. 
you used to ask from Raj Neela Maidan, people should quit even when there is a status of accusation. And when there was an accusation, you got no bail, court denied you relief, you continued as chief minister. And as far as your freebies and as far as the model of Delhi is concerned, if the Delhi model is so good as you claim it is, then pray, why did you contest seven seats with Congress, the same Congress that you finished on the issue of corruption? Hmm. Even today, you are the begging bowl trying to contest with Congress in Haryana. If you have so much faith in your Delhi model, go with it and do not do alliance with Congress and parties like RJD, which are corrupt. And therefore, answer the question. Right, if you right. are more putting a moralistic stand, how come you are with Mr. Lalu Prasad Yadav, who's convicted five times in an alliance? Right. Sh Shahzad, before I get a response from Jasmin as well, in fact, uh, you know, to your question about uh, Arvind Kejriwal not resigning while he was in jail, he's gone on to say, I want you to evaluate that answer and tell me what you think. He's gone on to say that he did not want to, in fact, do what the BJP wanted him to do. And that is the reason why he did not resign. That's exactly what the Bharti Janata Party expected him to do. So he would be playing into the BJP's hands is what he said today. If that is so, this is a statement of Mr. Pawan Kheda, who says that the liquor probe was actually initiated by us. Then you have Mr. Abhishek Dutt, who said we lost the elections because of Arvind Kejriwal's corruption. And you have a very latest statement of just of July, Devinder Yadav, who says that the Aam Aadmi Party involves three C's, not the other kind of C, the C meaning C for cheating, C for commission, C for corruption. Hmm. Is Congress party in our hands? Are they saying Congress is working on our indication? And if so, then why are you in alliance with them? Why were you in alliance with them? Hmm. So you tell me that if this is vendetta and you were playing, you would have been playing into our hands. The Congress said that the liquor scam initiation of the probe took place by them. The Congress says that you are corrupt head to toe. The Congress tells you that you are a three C's of corruption and cheating. Is hmm. the Congress party hand in glove with us? All right, Jasmine, how do you respond to that? And you know, Shahzad makes a very important and compelling point. That, you know, if, if, I, if you are in alliance with the Congress party, you know, why are they taking you to the cleaners? First of all, I find it very amusing that Shahzad Punawala spends 23 out of 24 hours blaming and calling Congress everything that you can imagine. And today in your show, he comes and takes three, four names of Congress people, just say, Bhagwan ka swaroop a gaye Aray, it's ne ye kaha ab to ye sachi ho gaya. Uh, Shahzad, it's, it looks like you guys have no narrative left anymore. You thought that you will corner Arvind Kejriwal on a fake scam. You'll try and find something against him. You found nothing. The Supreme Court has, has told, you know, said things which it hasn't said for the last 10 years. It has called you guys and your agencies as a caged parrot. It should be a matter of shame. The Home Minister should have resigned after a comment like this. No, but you come still on TV shows and feel like there is nothing wrong that has happened. So please keep Congress things aside. Another mm. lie, and you know, whatever Shahzad has said is that nothing but endless lies. Another thing he has said that, oh, AAP believes that the moment somebody is accused, they should resign. We have never said that. We have said that if somebody is accused and if those charges are proven in a trial, then you should immediately resign. Has the trial begun in our case? I asked Shahzad only one question. He has no answer for that. You are saying that this is such an open and shut scam. But for two years, you have not even begun the trial. Forget in our case. I must tell your viewers at NewsX that in 99% of ED cases, the trial has not even begun. Means 99% cases of ED and CBI are only against political opponents. Inko jail mein dalo. A law that was created to fight terrorists and drug dealers has today been put upon Arvind Kejriwal and Mani Sisodia. So this is their entire thing that you know put fake cases, put them in jail. Jinko ab chunao mein nahi hara sakte, unko jail mein dalo aur istifa mango. Sorry, we are not going to fall for their such okay. uh, tactics. We have shown that we can fight, we can stand in front of you. Aam Aadmi Party is as strong as it ever was. And now we have taken the matter in the word, in the court of the people. Agar aap mein himmat hai, to wahan pe aakar chunao ladiye. People will decide whether Arvind Kejriwal is honest or not. All right, Chazad, do you think that Arvind Kejriwal is going to leverage this victim card a lot more? And, and, and is this something, do you think, that uh, the BJP anticipated the chief minister would do? Look. Mr. Kejriwal has always been a PhD at what Sandeep Dikshit calls Natak ki Rajniti and Majburi ko Majbuti Batane ki Rajniti. 
meaning making a virtue out of a necessity. Now let me tell you how Mr. Jasmine, I'll prove him wrong again. Obviously, he did not counter me on the last point that Mr. Kejival was not an income tax commissioner. And I challenge the viewers to look at it. If I am wrong, I will apologize and leave politics. If Mr. Jasmine is wrong, he should leave. He was never an IT commissioner. He was at a lower rank. Anyways, having said that, he said that Mr. Kejival never called for people's resignations. Congress has done it. Mulayam Singh Yadam has done it. Mayawati has done it. Everyone has done it. And if these parties and people pass bill, then all the jails will go. All the jails will go. So how do people pass the bill? How do people pass the bill? How do people pass the bill? Mr. Kejival wanted to, in fact, forget resigning. He wanted to put all of them in jail. What did the Lokpal bill ask? Let him finish. Jasmine, one second. Jasmine, let him finish. Let him finish. Let's not interrupt. Let him finish. I'll come to you. I'll give you an equal opportunity to respond. Right? Jasmine is right on one point, that in 10 years, the Supreme Court has never said what it has said. It has never restrained any chief minister it has let out on bail from going to the chief minister's office. It has never restrained any chief minister who it has let out on bail from visiting the Sachival. It has never restrained the likes of Heman Soren or Shibu Soren or Jai Lalita from signing any file. That for the first time the Supreme Court has done. And the Supreme Court has also told the likes of Mr. Jasmine Shah, and I quote, that this is the this is not a qu qu case on the merits of the entire case, and this condition is being necessitated to dissuade a recent tendency of building a self-serving narrative on public platforms. That you come and say that a bail is actually a clean shit in the entire case. If there is no case, if it is a fake case, two simple questions, Jasmine. One, why did you take the sharab liquor policy back? Two, why aren't you convincing Congress? I am not the one trying to plead or or to worship the Congress. You made an alliance with Congress. They are saying you have done the Sharab Hotala. Before you convince me or the anchor, go convince the Congress. You want an alliance with them. They call you corrupt. All right, Jasmine, would you want to respond to that? How does this work? How, how does this, uh, you know, Jugal Bandi work completely. with the Congress party? <clears throat> Where is the Jugal Bandi in Delhi? Have we announced an alliance for Delhi elections? Mm -hmm. You know, Shahzad's entire, if you start taking whatever he says at face value, to aaj to raat hai, but ye din batayenge, din ko raat batate hain. The alliance with Congress, the India alliance was for fighting Lok Sabha elections. In Haryana, we are fighting by ourselves. In Delhi, we have, uh, there's no even conversation right now. So please, you know, stop worshipping Congress as you wish. Today, the point is that Arvind Kejriwal has set a new benchmark in Indian politics. No leader, no sitting chief minister before him said that the kind of allegations that are uh, put us... You have still not answered, by the way. Shahzad has still not answered that after two years, why do you not have the courage to begin trial? Not just do, not only have they not begun trial, they not tell you a date when the trial will start. People mm. are saying this will take 15 years. So your entire ploy all this while was to uh, damage and dent the perception of Arvind Kejriwal Mani Sisodia. But you never imagined how strong they are. You never imagined that they'll have the courage to resign and okay. take the battle in the court of the people. And that is why today you are completely flabbergasted. You have nothing to stand on. And therefore, you're standing on the crutches of, Are phala phala Congress ke bande nahi kara tha, phala phala. Are look into your own uh, inside, you know, look at your own mirror. And, and all the things that you all have right. done, you have all, the, all your ministers and chief ministers, they also have CBI and EDI cases. Why are they not resigning? Why don't you get them to resign? Okay, we have a paucity of time. Shahzad, quickly respond yes, to what sir. Jasmine said. First of all, Jasmine, whom I consider to be a very erudite person and speaker in public personal life, I think that he should know that trial is not in the government's case or the investigating agency's hand. It is in the court. So the trial can only start when the court desires. Tri Charge sheet the file. One second, sir, I don't interrupt. Trial, trial yeah, is not in the investigative agency's hand. Cannot be doing this. You can't be behaving like Priyanka Kakkar. You are better than that. Please, Jasmine. Oh my God. Let, me... let him finish. I, let him finish. I, Jasmine, are, let him finish. He didn't interrupt you. Laugh, Jasmine, I... Jasmine, he didn't interrupt you. So please accord him the same courtesy. Go ahead, Shazad. Okay. Secondly, Jasmine just came and said, Delhi mein ka? you had an alliance with them. And here is the statement of Raghav Chadda. We are trying very hard for an alliance with the Congress party in Haryana. Then the Congress party told you that two seats are going to be taken away from the people. So you are contesting in 89 seats. You were desperate till four days ago. I was watching News X Vineet. Raghav Chadda saying, Hum log to koshish kar rahe hai, hum log cha rahe hai. All these bites are there. They were desperate. And today, that same Congress is calling you corrupt and you don't have a statement to utter on it. You convinced them. You wanted an alliance with them three days ago. And look, I'll just say it last. 
कि दिल्ली ने कांग्रेस को साफ कर दिया पंजाब में हाफ कर दिया फिर कांग्रेस को माफ कर दिया लालू के साथ हाथ पकड़ लिया और बोलते हैं हम नैतिकता का सबसे जो बड़ा है स्कार्फ पहन अरे कौन सा नैतिकता का है आपके पास फॉर मोर सच वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू द न्यूज एक्स यूट्यूब चैनल हिट द बेल आइकन